That's awesome. Thank you so much for having us, Lexington. Yeah. This is such a beautiful city, and you guys are so nice. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, everyone is so friendly here. Like, we, to, to get here, we walked through, like, this massive crowd. Mm -hmm. And, like, everyone opened up and, like, let us pass yeah. through. If that happened in L.A., everyone would go, like, the opposite direction. <laughs> they just, like, block you out. <laughs> <laughs> little elbow check. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, whose first Comic-Con is this? Oh, wow! Yes! That is awesome! Welcome, you guys! It's a good party. It's a good group to be with. I find it a little addicting. Like, once you go to one Comic-Con, you're like, when's the next one? Yep. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Uh, but thank you so much for coming out to see us, you guys. This has been awesome. So, should we talk a little bit about who we are first? Absolutely. Do you, do you want to start? Sure. Ladies um, first. Oh, well, I am a lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shouldn't be funny. Uh, <laughs> so, my name is Trina Nishimura. Hello. Uh, I play Mikasa Ackerman in Attack on Titan. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've also played over 100 different voices, uh, many, many voices, uh, over the years. Uh, I don't know if anyone's heard of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Awesome. It's a, a little show. A little show. Uh, I was also in, uh, I'm trying to think of what's been on Toonami lately. Uh, Cash and Sins. Uh, there was also uh, Soul Eater, uh, Fairy Tale. Um, if you, I mean, if you want a full list, uh, you can Google me. I mean, buy me a drink first, but then Google me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I finally found a way to get paid for all the voices in my head. Uh, so I am really excited to be here. I'm super excited about 2016 because it's uh, rumored that something really big is going to happen in 2016, some sort of second season of something. I don't know. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. Bryce is a really amazing person. So I, I'm just I'm really glad to meet so many new friends and hang out with an old friend. Yeah, give her a hand. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> nice, thanks, man. <laughs> Um, I'm Bryce Pappenbrook. Uh, uh, give me a hand. Give me a hand. <laughs> um, I've been a voice actor since I was eight. Uh, I usually get the question, how did you get into voice acting? So I'll just tell that real fast. Um, my dad was working on Power Rangers. He was also a voice actor. Um, he was Rito Revolto, the skeleton dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rita Repulsa's brother. Um, and he was recording, and at the end of his session, the director's like, hey, we need a kid's voice. And my dad said, he's a kid, throw him in the booth. <laughs> uh, and I became a voice actor. Um, and since then, I've been fortunate enough to play Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan. Uh, Kirito from Sword Art Online. Love the cosplay. Uh, Rino Kumara from Blue Exorcist. And instead of continuing to go, I'll just say, go look at Wikipedia and <laughs> I can know the rest. What did your Wikipedia page say? I don't know. I, every <laughs> panel I have, I've decided that I want somebody to add something to Wikipedia. So far, I've uh, been, not that it's funny, but uh, I've been a woman that lost four toes in a tragic battle axe accident. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, I'm a professional crossbow uh, collector. Um, I, col I also have an army, a, a legion of pet rats. Yes, okay. And I can't remember the fifth, but they keep taking them down. So I, if anyone wants to add something awesome to my Wikipedia page or to Bryce's, that'd be awesome. Then you gotta screenshot it and yeah. tag us. <laughs> so, we see, so we see Before it. they take it down. I feel like it's a really, it's a, now it's just a race. Like, who can, who can put the most absurd thing on Wikipedia? <laughs> so believe everything you read there. It's all true. I had somebody come up with a crossbow for me. They were like, I brought you. I was like, oh no. I hear you like crossbows. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know. I can't. That's dangerous. <laughs> they are, though. I saw Game of Thrones. Uh, yes, so. Um, Shall we open it up to some questions? Yes. So feel free to ask us whatever you guys want to talk about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Start right here. Thank you for my birthday message. I, I recently had a birthday. I turned the big 3-0. Yeah. My voice still hasn't changed since middle school. One day, <laughs> I'll grow up. We'll see. Oh. Bryce. Uh, you, there's, there's a microphone, a microphone in, in there. there. Yep. 
since uh, Attack on Titan Season 2 took the world by storm, I sure hope Attack on Titan... No, Attack on Titan Season 1 took the world by storm. Yes. I sure hope Attack on Titan Season 2 becomes a big hit. And I hope so thing, as well. We both if, do. If anyone here is a big fan of the blood and guts and Attack on Titan, I think Funimation should also hold a license to the upcoming Berserk in 2016. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, they, they have a lot of titles. Uh, if there's something you want them to grab, let them know. They should grab Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, well, hoping that season two is bigger than season one. That would be really amazing. Berserk is actually going to cover the Black Swordsman arc in depth in 2016. Cool. I'll check that out. Um, who's got another question? Now you're going to have to throw that. Can we throw so this? Cool. Throw it. Okay, you're gonna have to throw it to whoever's next. That's how we'll choose who's next. Whoa. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, so if you guys were in the Attack on Titan world, oh. what regiment would you pick to be in? Ooh. Um, military police, so I didn't die. <laughs> Probably not have the opportunity to join a regiment. I would be like one of the guys that like is just walking down the street and then a boulder comes and smashes me. Like, I don't even see it coming. It just like hits me from this like splat. So I'm just a splat on the ground. I'd like to think that I'd be a scout. Like I'd like to think like in my heart of hearts like that I was brave and I was bold and I didn't care. Uh, but the reality of the situation is like I'd be girl A. That... <laughs> Like girl A, that like I'd be I'd be a splat I'd be a, I'd be a bug splatter. Uh, but or which which regiment guards the food? Um, <laughs> that would be a good one to be in. <laughs> like you just sit there and go. But then that didn't really work out for the people that were guarding the ammo, right? Mm. Yeah. That's dark. Captain of food. Captain of food. Oh, train the Nishimura, Captain of food. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Just like Sasha. <laughs> right? My Sasha. There we go. <laughs> so who are you going to throw it to? <gasps> we could just throw it and then whoever can... Oh, there's one with a hand up back there. Just get it as far as you can. Overhand it. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nice! Switch! <laughs> Alright, this uh, question is more towards Bryce. Uh, between Kirito and Aaron, who did you enjoy more being a voiceover for? I mean, I, I can't... I, I get this kind of question all the time. How can I choose between those two characters? They're both awesome. Um, and I lost my voice recording both characters. <laughs> they only scream. That's their only, like, like. Someone needs to tell both Aaron and Kirito, guys, you're at a 10 right now. Like, let's just, let's bring it down a couple notches. Down. They'd be like, what? <laughs> Um, but really, I can't choose between both those characters, and I'm so excited I get to play both of them again because there is a Sword Art movie in the works. Um, who knows when it'll come out? I'm pretty sure Kirito will be in it, and hopefully I get to work on it. And we both know that Attack on Titan Season 2 is coming, so... Yes! I get to lose my voice all over again. <laughs> I like that story. Hey, can you open this? So, sure. uh, Thank you. See, it was it was not just me. Titan I'm sorry. Strike. Titan Strike. Beast mode, what? So, uh, on your character, Meliodas. Meliodas, yes. Yeah, uh, what is your So, voice? Meliodas is from a show called The Seven Deadly Sins, and it's on Netflix. Ooh. It's Did relatively you? new. <laughs> oh, really? What's and, it about? Uh, okay, well, how would I describe The Seven Deadly Sins? There, th The Seven Deadly Sins is a, essentially a gang and I play the leader of that gang who happens to be like this tall and <laughs> overpowered. Oh. So it's, it's kind of like Dragon Ball Z-ish in how powerful people are, but then there's like magic and all that stuff too. So, what, what was it? Go. <laughs> there we go, with, with more hair, with more hair. So yes, Meliodas. I was like, can you do uh, the Reuniting with Bond in his voice. <laughs> when, uh, I think I think he just screams his name and then exactly. high fives him. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, first I have to get into character. I, I yes, do this with please. all of my characters, and I really found Meliodas 
when I raised my eyebrows like this. <laughs> I love it. Like, I raised my eyebrows so high that it stretches my vocal cords. <laughs> so when he sees Bond, he goes, Bond! <laughs> and his hands are like super fast. <laughs> For you guys, who's seen Seven Deadly Sins? Whoa, as you get hit with that. I can't, I can't. Okay, who watched in English? A lot of folks. Did you notice I played two characters? Who, who spotted the other character? Yeah. So when, when you go back and watch it again, watch for a little tiny red guy who is the, uh, there's like this battle in a competition and he's the referee of the competition. <laughs> Um, he has the most annoying voice in the show. What does it sound like? <laughs> so, <laughs> quick, quick story about Love Helm. Um, I recently had a baby. Um, my wife was pregnant. Thank you, thank you. Um, my She's wife the was... cutest effing baby ever. <laughs> it's ridiculous. She looks like this little perfect cherub baby that like is either going to grow up and be a princess or like the most evil person. <laughs> And like just take over the world because she's so beautiful and Already sweet. scheming. Yeah, she's just like, oh, this is wonderful. Everything's fine. World domination. <laughs> Where did so... she get that from? <laughs> so cute. I'm sorry, you're a baby. Anyways, uh, my wife was pregnant and I was practicing the Love Helm voice at home. <clears throat> she said, if you do that in the house one more time, I'm having this baby now. <laughs> It is way too annoying. So here's what Love Hound sounds like if I can get my voice high enough. And now, let the fight begin! That was great, man. <laughs> That's awesome. And I talked to myself. It was amazing. That's awesome. Oh, hey, uh, who has a smartphone? Raise your hand. Who has the Twitters? Raise your hand. Who's friends with Bryce and I on the Twitters? Ooh, fail. We actually put up some really cool contest stuff on Twitters if you want to take a moment. Something if we you have want. something really cool. It's true. All right, who has the block? <gasps> the block of power. Right there. Awesome uh, Fez hat. <laughs> oh, that's CJ. Hi, CJ. Hey, girl. Hey. I can't catch. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I get. I would have. I would have. This panel is dangerous. <laughs> you guys saw the sign at the door that said you may get beamed by a microphone, right? <laughs> Signed the waiver. Aaron, no. You oh, Aaron! So okay. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but uh, Armin frequently throughout the show says. So it's become a running joke, right? So on Bryce's Twitter page, if you'll reference it really quickly, uh, everyone turn to your Twitter. Uh, there is a thing where it says the first person to say, Aaron, no, will win a t-shirt. You win. Come on up, CJ, oh. get on up here. Aaron, no. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try not to beam you in the face. <laughs> You're Congrats. welcome. Congratulations. So on mine, there's a different thing, but uh, that's... Erin, no! Erin, no! Uh, All right, toss that block. Toss that block. Oh, yes. Question. When's, yeah. when's Marco coming back? Oh. <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Polo. Uh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm sorry. Sorry. All right, toss that block. Toss that block. Toss nice. that block. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> she signed the waiver. It's okay. <laughs> she signed the waiver. Okay, Hi. Can you say your favorite line in Aaron's voice from Attack on Titan? Sure. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite uh, scenes is the first oh. time Aaron... Wait, everyone's seen this, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm about to spoil this show for whoever hasn't seen it. So Aaron turns into a titan for the first time, and he's fighting, yeah, what? <laughs> it, he's fighting the little baby one. He just like punts him, and then like is stepping on his head, and he goes, get up, 
Get up. Let me kill you again and again and again. I like that part. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I want to know your favorite line is Mikasa. <laughs> I don't, okay, so this is Bryce. I've, I met Bryce. Uh, you never actually see each other in the recording studio, right? Because we record individually. So the very first time I ever met Bryce uh, was, well, was uh, briefly in commentary uh, during the commentary for Attack on Titan. But then uh, we actually spent time together in Australia. And yeah, we got to hang out. And we got to kick it, right? At and, a convention. At a convention. I saw his face. Why were you guys Why in are Australia? You Australia? Uh, but it was for a convention for Attack on Titan, and I, I expected you to be like really aggro and like really really mean and like tough. And so like when I ran into him, I was like, oh, hey Bryce. Like, <laughs> and he's like the nicest, most laid back guy ever, like ever ever ever. And then like he does his Aaron voice, and like we've been to several places together. And when he's like again, and I'm like, oh my god, like where's my friend? Like who are you? Uh, my favorite line as Mikasa. Um, uh, would probably be when she's uh, she just found out that uh, Aaron had died, and she was really really sad. Um, but she still had to like rally everybody, and she was in this whole like dazed and confused and freaked out phase where she's like yelling at everybody because they're all being babies about stuff. And so she goes, um, <clears throat> "I can do it. I'm strong, real strong. None of you come close. I am a warrior." That's it. <laughs> Isn't that, do you find it weird? Because when, when you voice act, like, you act, your face does stuff. Yeah. Like, your face when you're, like, really angry, like, and you're yelling that you want to kill somebody again is really pretty terrifying. <laughs> um, but I feel like, because you go there and you're like, oh, I'm really, really angry, and I'm Bryce again. It's like, oh, there's my friend. Okay. Like, I feel like that's weird to probably watch for you guys. It's because you don't... I don't know. It's weird for me to watch you do it, and I see you do it all the time. Yeah, there's no camera in the booth, but if there was, I'd probably make the most ridiculous faces ever. Right. I, I need to make faces to mm -hmm. sort of add to, I don't know, my voice. Like, for Meliodas, stretching my vocal cords out with my eyebrows. Um, I guess being angry in my face makes me Aaron Yeager angry. Yeah. No, I feel you on that. It's weird. But then, like, so you're angry as Aaron Yeager on a panel, and then you're like, oh, I'm Bryce again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm babbling. This isn't about me. Who wants to talk in a block? Jaeger's in there somewhere. <laughs> yes, you well, have the block. Well, first off, Levi looks dead sexy in a miniskirt. Yay! Yay! I got a shirt. It's me. true. It's true. He looks dead sexy you in have a miniskirt. It's right in front of me, so. <laughs> oh, I, okay, so this is the size, but if you want to come by my table later, I'll get you a bigger size. Do. Do. He knew Come it. Man. Dead sexy in a miniskirt. You have to tell the, the story. Oh, yeah. There is a story behind it's that. It's not just like <laughs> random. <laughs> like, that's pretty random. Um, when we were in Australia, uh, we were at an autograph session, and this girl came up to me and said, Could you say a line for me as Aaron Yeager? And I'm like, Sure. What do you, what do you want me to say? And she's like, could you say, Levi looks dead sexy in a miniskirt? <laughs> so, I looked her straight in the eye and I'm like, Levi looks dead sexy in a miniskirt. <laughs> so, <laughs> that happened in an autograph line with no cameras, no recordings, like nothing. And that one gag, not through us, but like through just word of mouth or social media or something, like made it back to America. And now every every single convention I go to, somebody's like, hey, does Levi look dead sexy? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It, it spread all over. I did a convention in Dubai, and people asked me to say, <laughs> Levi looks dead sexy in a miniskirt. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the block of power? Who wants the block of power? It's your choice. <laughs> Would you guys rather be eaten by a titan or cut apart by one of the people? I'm sorry? Eaten by a titan or... Or um, one cut of the apart by one of the... People in the military, yes, a cadet? That, I forgot what Eaten by a titan or cut by those blades? Hmm. Can we pick neither? <laughs> nope. There's no option C, okay? Option C. You think yeah. a titan would be more merciful? That's true. Maybe you can survive in their stomach for a little while. 
I don't know. That scene with Aaron's mom didn't end very well. <laughs> it, oh, it didn't go great for her. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Red. Too far. Raindrops. Uh, so, um, I would rather be cut in half by a blade than eaten by a titan. I think it's because, like, the last thing I, I don't want the last thing I see to be, like, creepy grinning guy mm. or, like, weird Santa Claus titan. Like, I don't want, because I don't know if you guys know anybody that have beards, but I know a couple people, they think they're very cool beards. Uh, but, like, they have, like, the really crazy beards and they'll always have food in their beard. So I don't want, like, my head to be, like, in somebody's beard. That's not really, that's not my jam. Not my jam. So cut in half, I think, or like slashed. Could I pick the titan that eats me? Because that would change oh, no. my answer. Because if derpy titan could eat me, this one? Because <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be able to grab me, right? Like he just. I could T-Rex. <laughs> so it would take a while and be hilarious for everyone else to watch. So maybe can I you, go that way. Can you imagine derpy titan trying to make a bed? Like, <laughs> 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 Derpy Titan, make a bet. <laughs> I love Derpy Titan. Uh, All right, you gotta wait for the block. Wherever block that power. block is. Boom. All right. Oh, hand, quick pass. What kind of cleaning supplies do you think Levi uses? <laughs> what kind of cleaning supplies? I have a hard time supplies. getting those blood stains out of the floor. <laughs> I think he has a very extensive list. <laughs> I think of, like, uh, Definitely, there's definitely scrubbing bubbles, right? Because that, that helps a little bit, and then he has people to like minion over, like the little scrub brush things. Um, I think he has a really extensive collection of cleaning supplies. In fact, I think the strongest shipping, I would say, with Attack on Titan would be Levi and his cleaning supplies. <laughs> that's the, that's Levi X cleaning supplies. <laughs> the one the true perfect period. couple. Right? <laughs> uh, block of power, where are we going? <laughs> oh. oh no, are you okay? <laughs> you can hand it off, or you got a question? Do, 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 do. Ariel wants it. I just do, do, want do, to do, say do. hi. Hello. Hi. Boom. Oh. Okay, so if you had to be stuck in either Sword Art Online or part of Attack on Titan, which one would you want to do? So, Sword Art Online. The video. You're, it's a full dive VR game, virtual reality, right. where if you die in the game, you, you die, die in real life. Um, or the world of, of Attack on Titan, huh? <laughs> so, do you actually die in the game, in the world of Sword Art Online? Of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> mm. Am I a beater? Can I, can I be Kirito or Eren? Ah! Fine, you can be Kirito or Eren. And she could be Mikasa if she wants to be Mikasa and Eren. Oh yeah, Mikasa. Uh, Attack on Titan. Got that. <laughs> well, Kirito's running God mode, so he's, he's just cheating, so he can't be beat. <laughs> so, I mean, if I can have Kirito's power, no one can hurt him. Right. Gotta go with him. I want to be Mikasa, but I want to be like not the emotionally cut off Mikasa. Like, I want to be in touch with my, my emotions. I know that's probably not helpful in a fight against <laughs> Titans. But yeah, that's... <laughs> Get over here, you cute so-and-so. Give me a hug. He's <laughs> 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 trying to hug, but his elbows are stuck to his back. That's horrible. Uh, yes, so, great question. And I love you guys. Oh, we love Aww. you too. Um, uh, I have a question. How do you feel to voice act Aridin from Miraculous Ladybug? Oh, Adrian. Yeah. And <laughs> so recently, um, I've been working on a show called The Adventures, The Miraculous Adventures of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Um, it's on Nickelodeon. Yes, thank you. Ow! Thank you. Um, so I get to play Adrian, AKA Cat Noir. Um, Adrian is, uh, it's just me. He's a model. He's perfect. Uh, no. Um, it's really fun playing a superhero. Um, especially a superhero who has a million cheesy puns. That's like a character made for me. So he, he dresses up like a cat, a 
cat noir, noir. Um, and uses cat puns all the time. Everything has to be a pun. Um, the animation is beautiful. Um, it was made in France, um, and it's just an awesome show. Every episode, there's a new bad guy. It's like someone, it's very Sailor Moon-esque, because someone is angry, and they get this butterfly that goes in them, or moth from the bad guy, Hawk Moth, and then they turn into an evil version of themselves, and Ladybug and Cat Noir have to come along to save the day. So it's, it's a really great show. Uh, well worth a watch if you guys haven't seen it. That's so exciting. <laughs> and I saw my first Ladybug cosplayer today. Yeah, I did too. Where is she? Is she here? She, she must so she cute. must be getting other autographs or looking she around. She was adorable. But she was little. look out for her. She's she looks amazing. Power yeah. block. Yeah, where's that block? Boop. Besides Armin or Megaso, what's your favorite character in Attack on Titan? <clears throat> Sasha. Yeah. <laughs> I love Sasha. I think she's hilarious. Derby Titan? No. <laughs> I I really like Levi. Levi is like, he's like so cool. Hi, Levi. Please don't make me clean. Um, I like Levi. That's awesome. Okay, raise your hand if you'd like the block of power. Hands Ooh. up. Boom. Yeah, Ooh. nice catch. So, did you guys know anything about the series before you were contacted <clears throat> to do the show? And if you didn't, what was your first reaction when you saw an action? But what was the first one that you saw? Um, so I, my, I have like one of the coolest older brothers in the whole wide world, and he's been into anime uh, our whole lives, and he's all it, our entire life. He's been like, oh, you should watch this stuff called anime. I'm like, Seth, I'm a theater nerd. I don't have time for that. Uh, and then, uh, then I met a guy in college, and he was like, have you heard of Cowboy Bebop? And I was like, of course I have. I love Cowboy Bebop. I'm gonna go rent it all right now. That was back in the day when there were stores that yeah. you would go to uh, to rent things. Um, so that's how I got into anime, and uh, since then, he, my brother, will send me names of shows that he's like, oh, this is so good, this is so good. So uh, I watched the first episode of Attack on Titan at his request, uh, or uh, not request. Um, recommendation. Thank you. Recommendation. And it was amazing. And then uh, usually I don't watch shows in advance because I, if I do get cast in the show, I, I want to be able to come at the idea of the character in a very real and fresh and uh, current kind of way. Um, and so I watched the first episode and then waited and I was like, okay, if Funimation doesn't get it or if I don't get a, a role in it, then I win and I get to watch the whole series. Like yeah. in that weird way where your friend has to come over and check on you because you've been marathoning and haven't showered in two days. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, but if I got cast, then I couldn't watch the show. Uh, so I, I was cast, obviously, and um, here I am. But uh, the, I think the show in general, like everything, every time I went in for a session to record, there was always a moment where I was like, what yeah. is happening? Yeah. <laughs> like when you died, oh my God. Like, I, he, like yeah, when Aaron got eaten, I was like, all kinds of expletives, like, Mike, what the f like, what the fuck? What about my fucking job? Like, this is not cool. I liked him. He's the lead. Like, what does that mean? And, and Mike was like, yeah. So, um, like, hard and fast rule, everybody does. Yeah, it, it's such a great show. And I think there's always something in the show that you're like, what? What? Uh, so, yeah, that was my reaction to Titans in general. Um, I, I was a fan of the show before I knew that it was going to come to the US. Um, there was a job I was working on, and one of the Japanese producers was like, have you heard of the show Attack on Titan? And I'm like, no. And she's like, you should probably watch it. It's really cool. I'm like, okay. And she's like, I can totally picture you as Aaron. And I thought in my head, like, yeah, right. Like, there's no, you can't pick parts, you know, your roles. You don't know where you're going to land. But she keeps going on and on about it. I'll check it out. So I watched episode one. Six episodes were out in Japan. So I watched episode one, and I was like, what the, what is, this is crazy. Episode two, episode three, episode four, episode five came, Ugh. and I was like, I just got Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> episode six, no Aaron, Aaron doesn't come back. Couldn't believe it, and I was hooked. So I watched every single week as the show was coming out, hoping that I could be part of the show, even if I was just 
guy that gets stepped on by Titan. Or I would have been happy. Titan. Or I mean, I would have. That would have been a dream role to be. Derby oh, Titan. No, no, no. I hope Derby Titan comes back in season two, and I I can find a way to go. <laughs> Derby Titan. Um, so I I was a big fan of the show before I started, and Titans are free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a question for Trina. Um, I think it's raining. Okay. Adding a little effect to the room. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I uh, wondered what it's like to uh, be the role of uh, Mari and Avon Gillian. How to get in the character, etc. Oh, uh, so Ma who's seen Avon Gillian? Awesome. So, uh, Evangelion, I play in Evangelion, the movies I play, I'm so sorry, this is really... <laughs> it's very distracting. I know. <laughs> um, I play, you, I'm sorry. Uh, if you're in this, these couple rows, you may get wet. Oh, it's like the splash zone. Yeah. Uh, so, I play Mari, she's insane. Uh, I don't know what that says about me when directors frequently cast you as the insane girl or like the super tough and dead inside girl. Um, <clears throat> I just came to that realization. Uh, uh, so she's insane, and she loves killing people. <laughs> it's normal, right? Uh, but no, uh, Mari was a really great character. I, I really enjoyed uh, voicing her just because of her her levels, right? So like her scream, the the scream in 2.22 at the beginning is my most epic scream ever. I almost burst a diaphragm and a mic. Mode. Which is hard to do. Um, and then afterwards, I was like, ah! and it was just bleeping die. And then after the after the first take, I was like, wow, is that mic? <laughs> he was like, you're done for the day. <laughs> you almost broke a mic. Uh, so that was really great. Um, I liked uh, I liked being able to show like the crazy and the fun and the singing. Like one second she's singing, and the next second she's ripping her own arm off. Like, yeah, that sounds great. It is tri it's straight up raining. So I love I love Evangelion. Uh, I'm glad that 3.33 is finally out. Uh, that that was a big win. And yes, so that's my answer. Is that good? Is uh, four? Are you starting work on four yet? I am not uh, allowed to say anything, unfortunately, due to contractual agreements. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that's a very diplomatic answer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we gotta throw the, the cube to that side yeah. after this because it's been so on the Bryce. Side. Yes. Uh, on Attack on Titan, uh, you know, so some voice actors, and you have scenes with like food, you know, like you'll actually eat food to get the effect. What do you do when Aaron is like <laughs> biting the crap out of his hand? Like, well, when he's about to fight Andy, you know, and he's sitting there just, like, what do you do? How do you make the sound? I bit the crap out of my hand. <laughs> 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 no joke, I left bruises on my hand. <laughs> you wear a glove, but it right? sounds awesome. <laughs> I mean, a glove would change it. It doesn't sound like you're going through flesh. So I, you know. Did you bite through your skin? There was no blood, but there were bruises. Oh my which is God, always fun. that's commitment. So I, I, I really wanted it to sound painful and nasty, and it did. Um, it sometimes did. you just gotta bite your hand. That's true. Throw the cube over to this side, because I haven't had a minute. Right. Yeah. Did you get that hankering for hand? Whoa! Nice catch! Snagged. Um, this is for uh, both of you, but how do you feel about Levi beating the crap out of Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> because I got to make the most disgusting noise I've ever made in the booth. Like, it sounds like Levi is putting his boot down Aaron's throat. Like, I did a noise like a <laughs> Like, as he gets stepped on. It was awesome. How did you feel when Aaron was getting <laughs> kicked in the face repeatedly until his teeth fell out? Well, it was sad, like, when I watched it, because you, you know, like, as, a, as the character, I'd grown, like, so emotionally attached to you, uh, to your character and everything, and, like, when it was happening, like, I was really upset about it. And then Mike, like, paused the video and uh, played a cat video, and he was like, remember, it's not real. <laughs> and I was like, you're right, it's not real. And he's like, now I want you to listen to this again, but imagine Matt Mercer and Bryce Pappenbrook. And I was like, okay. And then he played it again. I was like, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Can you imagine? I mean, that would never happen.
happen, but I just, I, I, because if you guys tried to fight, it'd be like, man, <laughs> like, it doesn't happen. Acting. Acting. <laughs> Who has the block of power? Kitty toe. Kitty toe. Uh, this question's more towards Bryce, but it is for Attack on Titan. How did you make the sound when Ki uh, Aaron went into Titan form? Like, all those roars and everything. So I, I did a lot of those roars, well, all of those roars. Um, it was, Mike was sort of, Mike McFarlane, the director, um, wanted the roars to stand out and be really terrifying. And in Japanese, they're sort of deep, but when he was mixing and messing with those roars, he found that the deepness affected the subwoofer and took away from the stomping. Like when you feel those boom, like the steps of the Titans, right. it's terrifying. So he wanted something on the opposite spectrum. So he made them high pitched, like banshees. So I did all of those roars and then they futzed with it to make it sound like it does and it sounds awesome. So I was in there just <laughs> forever. I feel like that Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head song was really inappropriate. This is the karma. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who has the block of power? Hi. Okay. Hi. So, in your best impression, this is for separate Mikasa and Aaron. For Mikasa, clearly, you love your scarf like no other. In your pre best impression, what would, what would be her Mikasa if she lost it? And for Aaron, what would happen if he lost his key? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we do both have really important accessories. That's I didn't true. Think about that. Uh, you and go. Um, Aaron lost his key. Well, guess we'll never know what's in the basement. <laughs> Where's my scarf? Where's my scarf? Who has my scarf? <laughs> Oh. Our characters have problems. I know, right? <laughs> they need some therapy for reals. I mean, who wouldn't need therapy after seeing your parents brutally murdered, right? Uh, Rain or drops keep falling. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my darling. Hello. Hello. Um, this is for both of you. Um, as a voice actor, is there anything that either of you specifically do to prepare for your roles, either as the character or just preparing your voice like warm-ups? I scream at people in traffic. <laughs> and in LA, that's saying something. Like, they're in traffic a while. Yes. <clears throat> so, yelling at other cars all the time. <laughs> um, it's really difficult to prepare for a role. Most of the time uh, you go into the booth, you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes they jump around. Even if you're a lead on a series, you don't know where in the series they want to start or what exactly is going to happen that day. So it's really difficult to prepare um, other than kind of warming up, but my yeah. warm up is yelling at people. <laughs> uh, my warm up is singing. I sing a lot in the car. Um, it just depends on what I'm into at the moment. Uh, I sing a lot. I'm really into pantogram right now. I mean, what girl isn't into pantogram? But uh, so I sing a lot and then if it's, I mean, you really, you really don't know uh, frequently on the off chance that you do know uh, and you do have time to prepare. Um, usually, uh, if people warn me about like, oh, uh, tomorrow this is going to be kind of the thing, so rest your voice because you're going to scream a lot, or tomorrow you're, I've spent like four hours in the, I guess this doesn't really happen to dudes because in anime, dudes very rarely cry, right? Uh, I mean like for extended periods of time. I usually cry after I scream, <laughs> scream like not Aaron you, Yeager or Katie Joe. Not Kitty you, Joe. like the actual char the character. <laughs> um, I, did, I recently just finished um, a project where I spent uh, like a minimum of four hours crying every day. Um, so that was a lot of preparation. Uh, and come down. Like, I couldn't see my boyfriend afterwards because I'd be, because it's this girl and her boyfriend dies. It's very tragic. And she loves him, but he's a schmeckle and he doesn't understand. And he loves her, but it's all this messed up stuff. And so I'd get out of the booth and be like tear stained and come home. And I'd be, he'd be like, Oh, how was your session? I'm like, Why don't you care about me? <laughs> you don't understand anything. He's like, not real life, Trina. Not real life. Would you like a pizza? Yes. <laughs> Please. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my preparation and come down. Do you have a come down after like a super emotional or like super hard scene? 
Um, usually I, I don't. I mean, after playing Aaron, I was still angry. Yeah. I, I, f I live in LA. I flew out to Dallas to record for Attack on Titan. So even after flying home, I was still angry. I was still pissed off all the time and screamed even louder in traffic. Uh, that points for using schmeckle. <laughs> Thanks, That's man. That's a fantastic word. I like schmeckle. Do you guys know what schmeckle means? That's probably best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> block of power. Yes. All right, um, I have a question for Bryce. You said sure. earlier that since your dad was on Power Rangers, I know you got to work on it, so I was wondering, I can't remember how long it was recorded, but you got to work on Shinzo at all. My dad might have, um, but dad did. he did. Yeah. Uh, he worked on so many different projects and just pretended like, you know, it was nothing. He didn't come home and be like, yeah, I just did this today, it's really awesome. Um, so there's still stuff I'm discovering um, that my dad did and it's really awesome. He kind of left it for me to, you know, to carry on his, uh, his energy and stuff. Um, so it's really cool for me to discover that stuff. So, so which show was it again? Shinzo. Do you know who he played? Uh, uh, Kutal. If only there was some sort of handheld device. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I can look it up if you want me to. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be awesome. Shinzo. It that'd was be like awesome. A, it's a Japanese, it was kind of like a, more like Pokemon, like I'm, a kid oriented. Gotcha. It only came out at like three in the morning. <laughs> cool, I, if, if you can find a clip, I'd love to hear it. All right. Okay, um, we got time for two more questions. Two more. Two more. <laughs> oh man. Sweet cosplay. Thank Sweet. you. <laughs> Uh, what was your favorite death in Attack on Titan? <laughs> That's wicked. Favorite death. <laughs> you remember that time Petra got petrified? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just did it so everyone would go like this. Oh! <laughs> I just thought it was. That's not nice. That's not nice. Marco! <laughs> it's not real, you guys! <laughs> I, I liked when Aaron died. That was cool. Oh my god, that was the worst. <laughs> the worst. Boom. Who would win in a death battle, Aaron or Deadpool? Ooh. Aaron or Deadpool? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I mean, Aaron? <laughs> I like how you say it with a question. Aaron? Aaron? Be a good be a good fight. What do you guys think? Raise your hand for Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager. Raise your hand for Deadpool. Raise your hand for Dead Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> All right, you Who guys. like this guy in here. <laughs> so, uh, if what are where are you on Twitter? What is what's your uh, at Bryce Pappenbrook on Twitter and Instagram and actor Bryce Pappenbrook on Facebook. I'm Trina, at Trina Nishimura on Twitter. I'm at Trina Nish on Instagram, because uh, the Trina Nishimura was already taken. It's a long story. Uh, and then uh, the official Trina Nishimura actor on Facebook. So thank you guys so much for coming out. We'll be signing all weekend. Yeah. Great talking to you guys. Thanks, guys.